What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Power Up Girls 3. Well, we will be continuing on with Night 1 and Part 2 of the video, which I had a lot of trouble doing in Part 1 because of how confusing and frustrating it was. But after the video, I watched Case Gaming's Let's Play, and apparently you have to repeatedly press the play button. Not press it once, but multiple times while unscrewing the the ventilation thing, whatever you call it, which has a button underneath it. Some kind of button. But anyways, this game, I forgot to mention the other video, is made... It is the third game in the Finals of Power Up Girls series, and this game is made by Starlight Scrub Lord, and it was released in 2016. But was re-uploaded um, in 2021 along with the other games by some other user. I forget what its name, his or her name is, but... Yeah, but anyways, without further ado, let's continue night one, and let's see what that's offer for us. Alright, so we gotta go back down to the ventilation thing. Or downstairs, star. Welcome to the beginning of your career at Power Plus Haunted Pizzeria, where we make sure the ones who have a job have the best time here. We would like you to have your greatest experience Using the buttons below the screen, please select your type of music to play in the office. Press yellow for rap, red for country, blue for rock, and purple for royalty free. Thank you for selecting generic spooky horror music. Spooky now horror that you're music? comfortable with the place you are in, let's begin your job. Let's start off with you checking to see if Blossom and her friends are on stage by turning on the dining area camera with that big red button to your left. Hold on, what's going on? Okay, there is the button. I forgot uh -oh. about the button. It seems they are off camera. We're going to have to take a direct approach to this. Go into the vent that is in the middle. Okay, I forgot about that red button right there. I didn't I forgot what it did. Okay, let's just go this way. To make you feel less scared while crawling through it is worth mentioning that 90% of workers die here. Okay, that's not going to make me less comfortable. Less uncomfortable. I'm already uncomfortable just hearing that. I'm already uncomfortable hearing that statement. <laughs> okay, let's keep moving. I remember what to do here for the first part of the night. Now we just got to play through night are. one. You have to find Blossom and her friends. There are animatronic tools in the back to the left. You have to use those tools to find a certain button. But be careful, if an animatronic is near you, you have to keep it away from you by playing the tape recorder. I'll deactivate and let you get to work. So I gotta keep playing the play button while unscrewing the vent. I can see you there. Okay. Uh, Alright, so keep playing that while unscrewing the screws. Hopefully I don't die here and that mechanic works. I see you. There we go. Okay, we're playing it this time. I'm not the birthday boy. Are you the birthday boy? There's nothing to see here, guys. Just playing a videotape while trying to access a, a button here. Okay, got one more screw to get off. But I'm going to play this again just to be on the safe side. Nope, nothing here. Just... Doing my shift. Great work. There we go. That Press the emergency button. Back to the stage. There we go. Go back to the vent to finish up your first shift. Okay, so now we get to finish up our shift finally. I finally figured out how to do it. Okay, so. 
Now we just go back in the vents. All right, and back to our shift. Thankfully, the emergency button actually works when we send them back. All right. You passed your shift. All right, we passed an I-1. Love the confetti right there. So what do we have next? Oh, I remember these posters. You have Buttercup, Bubbles, Tails, Sonic. That's a fine. That's a Sonic's reference. Fine. That's a Freddy's reference with with Baby. I think that's her name. Oh, we're playing a mini game on a TV. Okay. Okay. So we have we're playing as Blossom on a TV. Sorry, I'm lowering the brightness since it's a little dark on that camera. I do apologize. Hmm. Okay, so we have to move. We're moving as Blossom, so, okay. Which way do I go, though, is the question. That's what I need to figure out. Okay. And I don't know who that character is that I just looked at over there. That, that person. I know there's Finance of Powerpuff Girls references, as well as Finance of Freddy's sister location, and then Finance at um, Sonic's references. Okay, I don't know why I'm moving the mouse around. But I'm just gonna keep... Oh wait, what's this? Oh. I just ran into a purple guy. Okay. Well, that's the end of the minigame. Okay. So on to night two. Let's see what has to offer for us. And now I gotta fix the brightness again, because gotta readjust the brightness. Welcome back to another day of animatronic work. Let's start with your usual tasks by checking to see if everyone is in their proper place. Okay. Oh, Blossom, where did you go? Where did Not you go? To worry about. All animatronics have their own control devices and parking service. To get there, you'll need to crawl through Buttercup's room. Don't worry about Bubbles. She was put to sleep before closing after a tragic accident involving her nearly eating a child. Eating? Nearly eating a child? Okay. That's disturbing. Okay, so we gotta head to Blossom's room. Which way do I go? Oh, this way. Okay, so this is the way to Blossom. I mean, Buttercup's room. Sorry, not Blossom. Welcome to Buttercup's room. Buttercup's room, right. Dark here. All the lights stay out until opening. And the catch is that, well, Buttercup can activate at any moment from motion. You'll never see it coming. Buttercup? You have to go through as quietly as you can and listen to see if she is close. What? I'll do myself now. How do I know when Buttercup shows up? It's dark, so I can't tell when Buttercup shows up. How do I move? Is it W to move? Am I moving? What do I do here? Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so W's to move. So we gotta keep moving, but very quietly. Okay, I'm getting closer to the noise. How do I know where I'm moving? Because it's dark in this room. I'm confused. 
Okay, Buttercup is making it even more uncomfortable. Okay. So now I just got killed by Buttercup. Great. I couldn't figure out where Buttercup is. How am I supposed to know when the room is pitch black in that game? That's confusing. Okay, so W is to go forward. I got the instruction. Okay. So we gotta move while avoiding Buttercup. I get the message. And if we hear a sound, we have to stop because until Buttercup leaves, okay? So we just gotta keep moving to while avoiding Buttercup, right? Because Buttercup can move at any minute. Okay. Okay, so I gotta not move there because Buttercup just made a sound. Okay. So that's gonna be the. Okay, so I figured. So I'm kind of figuring out the puzzle right now. So if we hear that sound, it means Buttercup is close to me and we have to stay still until she leaves. Gotcha. Okay, so that's the sound, so we have to wait till Buttercup leaves, and, and then we can move. Okay, because it's pitch black, as you can see. Okay, so I'm waiting for Buttercup to leave, because that's the sound she will make when you're close to her. Okay, so now we got to move. Okay, wait for Buttercup to leave. I know that sound. Okay. Okay, I heard Buttercups, so I gotta wait. Let's wait right now. Yep, she's nearby, so I gotta stand, so I gotta not move. And wait till she leaves. Okay, so I'm kind of getting the patterns right now. Okay, I don't know how much longer I gotta walk in this game because I can't tell because the Buttercup's room is dark. So I just gotta listen for sound cues.
safe for me to move? Okay, now. Nice to see you reached parts and services. Oh, thank God I reached it. see an animatronic in front of you, then don't move. There's a slight change of plan here. Forget about the animatronic control devices. We have to put Brick to sleep mode after his long day. It's put him to sleep? Getting hurt. Besides, Buttercup, Bubbles are all in their proper place. Thank Lost God. Power is unknown. Let's begin. Push the button on Brick's right cheek, then his left. Okay, his right cheek. Did I press it? Where's the button on Brick's right cheek? Is it this one? Okay, I'm pressing on Brick. Which one's his right cheek? I can't tell. I'm glad I was able to make it past Buttercup, but... How do I know where the button is on Brick? or something wherever it is god I'm, I'm i'm confused where what do i have to press exactly on brick Glad I was able to get... Oh, I found the button. There it is. Good. Found it. Push the white buttons on Brick's legs from left to right. Okay, left to right. Got it. Good. His face place should be open now. Press the small button below his jaw. Okay, God. That was so confusing to try to find the button for Brick. But I finally found it, though. And getting past Buttercup was stressful. Good. Found it. Finally, press the bib on the Boomer Puppet. Okay, the bib on the Boomer Puppet. Got it. There Great we go. Job. Brick is now fast asleep from the simple button combination. That would do for tonight. Go and get some more. If you're not, you will be completely safe from Buttercup. Alright, ask us to go back. Okay, good. I'm glad to be safe from Buttercup because Buttercup was so stressful to deal with. Just listening for her in the... Just listening for her movements in a pitch black room. But I was glad I was able to get past her. Alright, so we gotta go back now. Okay, so... Night 2 was definitely stressful because of Buttercup. Because I had to figure out how to get past her in a pitch black room. Then deal turn off Breck. Then I had to deactivate Brick. Push 
the buttons were so confusing to find. Okay, so how much longer do I got to go th walk through the pitch black room? Because I'm walking back in the pitch black room, apparently. He's off the deal worry about Buttercup now because she's deactivated. There we go. You passed your shift. Alrighty. We passed night two. Perfect. So let's see what's next. Do we have a mini game we gotta do? Okay. Okay, we have a close up of Blossom. What does it say? Something is wrong, very wrong here. Don't trust Bubbles. Okay, that was an eerie cutscene. Something is very wrong with me. Don't trust Bubbles. Alright, we will take on night three in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.